Welcome along to the Racers TV. Shortly we'll have a chat with Richard Jolly, but firstly let's have a look at the diary for racing coming up in South Australia. On Saturday we're racing on the park circuit with the exception of race one, the hurdle, which of course will be on the main track. On Wednesday we're racing at Morphettville again on the park circuit. Next Thursday we're going racing at Gawler. Before we look at Richard Jolly's runners at Morphettville on Saturday, we might ask you about, well I guess we should call him the stable star Richard, Kusha Darzi, what's the latest with him? Uh, look, he's just come back into work, Terry. Uh, come back on the 1st of uh, July. Uh, he's had a nice break, looks well, and um, well, full steam ahead. Any idea when you'll kick him off? Oh, look, probably, um, you know, he'll be in work probably 10 weeks, so we just have to find a suitable race, but he's not going to be ready for races like the Spring Stakes. Um, he's just a bit behind them, so I'd like to give him uh, a run or two home before we, before we head to Melbourne. All right, Morphville on Saturday. Your day starts in the first, the hurdle. Blevick Lad, first season jumper. This is a pretty tough hurdle on Saturday. He's showing promise, but uh, it is a tough race. Yeah, it is. Look, he won a maiden hurdle, and then last start he ran third um, in a um, in a stronger race. But yeah, Saturday's even tougher again, and you know he's probably um, going to struggle against a few of those you know uh, flat flat horses that have won um, five hundred thousand on the flat going to jump. So they're a bit bit better than him. Captain Punch, race two, ran favourite his only start, led, he only got tired the last little bit, how's he done since that run? Yeah, really good, he's a big gross horse and just the, that day the conditions didn't suit him, he had a heavy track, a headwind um, and he did a bit of work early so look he'll be better for that run and Parks is going to suit him, um, yeah I think he's um, probably one of the better chances. Okay, Atlantis in race number three, you're stepping her to 1400 metres on Saturday, will that help her? Look, she's showing glimpses of ability. She won a trial before she even had her first start, and um, um, she has been disappointing, I must say. Um, she's been doing things wrong, and the other day wasn't a bad run, but she still probably needs to lift again to, to, to be competitive. OK, race number five, you've got a couple of runners here. Firstly, uh, Redeem Bounty. What have you made of his two runs this campaign? First run was OK. Second run... Uh, he missed the start and was probably disappointing. He's a horse that needs to be on pace. Um, I think he's improved. Um, he, he will improve into his prep, and uh, if he gets away right and can be on the speed, he will improve. All right, the stable had a great day when our exchange won. It's your other runner in race number five. Uh, one of the, the, the great family friends of the Jolly, Snow Cooper, was celebrating his birthday that day, 85. He's a part owner, and the horse won well. Yeah, it was funny because the mother of um, our exchange, Snow, raced and she won 10 years to the day um, that our exchange did, so it was a bit of an uh, omen for Snow. Um, but uh, look, she's um, probably going to go to the paddock after this run, done a real good job this time in. Um, she's on the back up, but she has drawn one and she's uh, on speed horse, so the, the parks will suit her. And in the last grey Mustang, good win two starts ago on a slow track on the park circuit. Um, what do we take of his last run failing on a heavy track? Yeah, look, he just he's won on slow, but every time he's got on the heavy, he just finds it he just struggles. So, hopefully, um, you know the parks will stay to, to that slow seven, and if it does, he'll be a chance. But if it gets to heavy, he he just uh, struggles in the gun. Okay, finally, let's have a look at a couple of these races from Morphettville on Saturday. We'll have a look at the hurdle, the uh, next of the races in the Over the Rainbow Jumping Series. It's race one on the program. As I said, it's on the main track. That's a really really strong hurdle. Race number one there on Saturday. And race number eight, looking forward to that race as well. Weight's headed up there by Extra Virgin for Jake Stevens. Some nice horses going around there. Tony McAvoy's got St. Desire down to resume as well. So that's it for the Races TV this week. Thanks again to Richard Jolly. We'll see you again next week. There's nothing like a day at the races.